so this is my advice to the diaspora. Try and use the system. What is more, the missions are here to assist. It is because of them we are here. They should feel free, you know, to call on us anytime they, they believe, you know, they have issues back home. Just call us and we'll know who to contact. Okay. If we are unable to do it, the diaspora officers there who hand it over for them to take it from there. It's always better to take your time to get the things done properly mm -hmm. than to rush into doing things only to find that you have been duped and then you blame everybody. Time. We have the estate developers, we have the lands commission, mm -hmm. you know, look at Greda. Yeah. It's made up of over 20, you know, estate uh, companies that have come together to form Ghana Real Estate Developers Association. If you want land and you contact Greda, I'm sure that they can give you a safe land. But you want a piece of land, you call your brother, you call your nephew, you call your cousin, you call your in-law. They may not even know what to do. Mm. And before you say Jack, your money goes down the, the drain and then you see them complaining that the system is not working. To me, it is not the system. They should rather try and make use of the system. If they use the system, the system does not work, then we all know where the problem areas are and then we know how to solve. Yeah, so please, that would still be my advice. Make use of the institutions. institutions. You want, um, for example, a concession or whatever. The Minerals Commission is there. If you approach them, they will take you through the proper channels of how to acquire, you know, a mineral license, a recognizance license, a prospecting license. They know what you ought to do. You don't need to just call a Ghanaian and say, look, I'm interested in, you know, uh, gold mining or something, some mineral mining. And then he says, oh, I have a friend. And then he gives you a picture of somebody wearing a big... Uh, cloth sitting so I say he's the chief of this place and you have a lot of gold deposits. You've not done any underground work. You don't have the geological survey map. You don't know whether what he's saying can be true or not. You rush into it.